Today we're going to talk about the different backlighting effects for the Rantopad MXX mechanical keyboard. Uh, this keyboard has um, clicky blue Gatoron mechanical switches. If you want to read our full review for this keyboard, you can head over to uh, the link in the description at gomechanicalkeyboard.com. Um, the main point of this video is to talk about the different features and backlighting features and shortcuts for this keyboard because the manual that comes with it is in Chinese with no English, so um, it's not uh, straightforward at all. So let's talk about the different hotkeys here. We have a function key and then uh, the different icons up along the... Uh, F keys up top, we have F1 for uh, calculator, then mute, volume up, volume down. Uh, this F5 key opens up um, like the default uh, Windows Explorer. Um, so you can view like my computer, your files, stuff like that. Uh, F6, play or pause, uh, skip tracks. F9 puts the keyboard in gaming mode, and this G indicator light will light up and that will disable your Windows key from doing anything. Um, F10 switches between uh, I guess standard or default backlighting mode and a user defined backlighting mode. Um, we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, then the F11 and F12 keys uh, lower or raise the brightness. So for the user-defined mode, um, once you enter into this, you'll notice only certain keys are lit up. If you hold FN and hit the delete key, you'll see the lights over here blinking. So you can choose what keys you want to be lit up. And then when you're done, you hit do FN and delete again. And now these keys are set. So if you have a specific uh, set of keys you want lit for certain games, you can do that. Uh, going back into the default lighting mode, um, there's different uh, different lighting profiles they have by default here. These are not uh, customizable. So we have a standard um, static backlit mode. If you hold FN and press uh, page down, it'll switch modes. So here we have a wave effect. Here we have a ripple effect, so whenever you type, you get a ripple of lights. Here we have a pulsing effect. Uh, this is like a single key typing effect. And this one is kind of a, it's kind of different. So all the keys are lit by default. Then wherever you type, it kind of blacks out a zone. So it's interesting. Uh, one other thing you can do on this keyboard is if you hold down uh, FN and hit L, it'll kind of change the brightness on this MX logo. You can't turn it off. Um, I believe there's only two brightness settings. Looks like this low and then a higher one. The low is still pretty bright though. Um, so that sums up the uh, different lighting modes and options for this keyboard. Um, if you want to learn more about it, uh, check the link in the description or head over to gomechanicalkeyboard.com.